Hello, saints. Happy, happy, happy day. Hope you all are enjoying one another and treating each other well and praying to the Lord Jesus Christ. This message you all today, I'm going to um, start coming to you to pray. All right, we need to pray um, to the Lord over ourselves, over our families, our lost, the lost, and the save you all. We need to and put more scripture applied in our daily lives, our daily walk, and in our talk. Our lives should be married to the risen King, you all. Um, God is still God. He is still worthy to be praised, no matter, regardless what you hear, see, um, or do. God is still worthy to be praised. And I want to come to you all today. With Psalms 15, and I'm going to be doing some prayer um, protections for the family off of Christianity.com. You all okay? So right now, I'm go with me with Psalms 15, a Psalm of David. All right, you all. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you. I thank you first and foremost for who you are, that we submit to you, Father. We worship you. We praise you in the beauty of holiness. Let us seek your face daily, continually, Lord. Thy face shall we seek. Father, you brought us from the marvy clay in Jesus' mighty name. Let us seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added. May you cover us, God. Let your will be done over our lives and our minds and our body. Restore us to newness in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you, Father. This video is covered in the blood. Psalms 15, everyone. Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall dwell in the holy hill? He that walketh uprightly and worketh righteousness and speaketh the truth in his heart. He that backbiteth not with his tongue, nor doeth evil to his neighbor, nor taketh up a reproach against his neighbor. In whose eyes a vile person is contempt, but he honoreth them that fear the Lord. He hath sware to his own hurt and changeth not. He that putteth not out his money to usury, nor taketh reward against the innocent. He that doeth these things shall never be moved. Second Peter 1 Peter 1.10, everybody. May God add a blessing to the reading of his word. We, we thank you. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father, for your word. For your word is sharper than any two-edged sword. We thank you, Father, for one another. We thank you for the time of giving, a time of song, a time of worship. We thank you for praise. We thank you, Father, for who you are. We bless your name on our Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. A family that prays together, you all, right? Do what? Stays together. It teaches the children, especially, to form a habit of prayer, depending on God for all that they need. Praying daily with the family is a good habit to form, especially at the beginning and the end of each day. It teaches each member of the family to seek God's will at all times, no matter what the circumstances in life are. Father God, we come before you today to ask for your protection over our families, Lord. Let no trouble fall on them today. Keep them away from incidents. Allow no evil to influence their hearts. Jesus' name. Cover them with the precious blood of Jesus. Take charge over them so that they do not strike their foot against a stone. Amen. We may not be with our families all the time today, but I trust that you, Lord, are always with them. Keep them safe today and allow them to give glory to your for you further. Give them peace of mind, Father, so that they may not worry about anything. Guard their hearts so that they may only display love instead of hate, anger, or bitterness. Amen. Father God, we thank you. Prayer for family guidance. Guide our way, O Lord, as we go on with our lives today. Also be our shield as we go back home later. May you always preserve the bond that we have as a family, and may we look forward to seeing each other once again at home. God, our home as well, God. No harm will fall on us as we are away. I declare and I decree in Jesus' name. May it continue to be a sanctuary of blessing, comfort, and love for each one of us. Let it always be a restful place for our tired bodies at the end of the day. Amen. Continue to protect us, Lord, as we rest at the night. 
Allow no intruders or calamities to disturb my home tonight, in Jesus' name. I trust in your mighty power to keep me and my family safe from me, any form of evil. In your name, Jesus, I ask all these things. Amen. Prayer for family healing. Dear God, we commit to you those in our families we have fallen, who have fallen sick. We believe that you are our healer, our great physician. May you be the comfort of our family members who are physically in pain right now, Father. Touch them with your healing hands, Lord. Send forth your word and heal their diseases. Let your healing power flow through every cell of their bodies. In Jesus' name, declare and decree, decree it, Lord. Healing. Loving Father. We also ask that you heal the members of our families who are hurting emotionally. Their affliction is not physical, but we know that they are also in pain. Give them comfort as well, God. Give them the peace that transcends understanding. Heal their hearts, Lord, which may be full of anger, hatred, strife, bitterness, and unforgiveness. Clear their minds of any doubt, anxiety, or depression. Renew in them a peaceful spirit, Lord. Amen. Giving them a clean heart, Father. Prayer for family restoration. We also pray that you will restore the bonds that have been broken with some of our family members. We know, God, that there is nothing you would want more than feuding relatives to reconcile with each other. But we also admit, Lord, that we cannot do this on our own, for that we ask your Holy Spirit to surround us with your love. May we be filled with the brim with love that it may overflow and we may share it with our families. Allow us to be instruments of your blessings to them. In due time, Lord, let our relationships also be restored. All these we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Prayer for strength, everyone. Heavenly Father, you are our ultimate source of strength. When we are weak, you are strong. You lift us up when we are down. You renew our strength and we soar on wings like eagles. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for always raising us up with your mighty hands. How strong our bonds are with your family members. Families depends on you, Lord. Which is why we ask you to always be the center of our family relationships. Enable our families to be as a triple braided cord that cannot easily be broken. Let your spirit fill our hearts so we can love each other just as Christ loved us. In our times of trials and troubles, God, we look to you. Life can hand us many different challenges that we know we cannot face on our own. But with you, Father God, we believe that nothing is impossible. We believe that you will always grant us the endurance to overcome any obstacle that may come our way. In Jesus' name. You are our strength when we are weak, God. And we are always grateful when you manifest your power through our lives. All these we pray in Jesus' name. Prayer for family and peace. Heavenly Father, thank you for renewing our hearts and minds. Thank you for sending your spirit to us that we may express your love to our families. We are so grateful to you for giving us loved ones. But we also admit, God, that we are not always the lovers of peace that you want us to be. Holy God, there are times in our families when we fight and bicker with each other. There are times when we let anger, strife, and bitterness rule over our hearts. And because of this, we end up hurting our families. We ask for you to forgive us, loving Father, for these sins against our own families. Change our hearts and make them truly lovely. Also enable us, Father. God, to extend the same forgiveness to the members of our families whom we have hurt. Humble us, Lord, so that we may seek forgiveness with pride. We ask you to heal the wounds, Lord, in their hearts as well. Touch their hearts that they may accept our plea, our pleas, forgive, and accept our hearts. Accept us for forgiveness. Amen. Thank God for family. We are very thankful, God, for the good times we have with family. Thank you for allowing us to enjoy each other's company. Thank you for giving us time to spend with each day. Preserve our good relationships, Father, whenever we are with our beloved families. Let peace reign in our homes and our compassion fill each of our hearts. Teach us what it is to experience joy and enable us to show each other what this means. Lord, you are our Prince of Peace and the one that guards our hearts. May you always remind us to be peacemakers, especially within our families. Protect us from hateful thoughts and let us not be the reason for causing chaos in our homes. Amen. Guide us each day as we walk through life with our families, wherever each of us may be. All these we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we are, you are worthy to be praised. Yes, we ask God that he just cover us and our families. Cover our minds, our hearts our thoughts. 
May we forgive others as God forgive us. Forgive us our trespasses, O oh God, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Father God, you are our shepherd, Father. Thank you, Father. May you guide us. You are the truth. You are our shield and buckler. You give us strength. You are our high tower, O oh God. May you keep us from sorrows. In Jesus' name. May you remove all negative thoughts, Father. Greater is he in me than he who is in the word. It's, if God be for us, who shall be against us? No weapon formed against us shall prosper. And every tongue that rises against us in judgment, the Lord thy God shall condemn. Father, let us love thee with all our strength. You are our rock and our fortress, O oh God. Father God, you are the horn of our salvation. Father God, order our footsteps, Lord. You are marvelous. You save us, the, us from your righteous right hand, Father, from the wicked enemy, from the evil. May we, Lord, be ever so grateful and the joy and pleasure be fulfilled in our hearts with strong, fervent prayers. The fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much, Father. May we not be backbiters or do evil things against our neighbors or seek to be in contempt, Father. May we be as innocent as a little small child, Father. May we not want to hurt others or hurt you, Father. Father God, you are our trail of salvation. You are the line of Judah. May we be brought from out of captivity, of bondage in our hearts. May we be able to have forgiveness for others and ourselves as well, Father. Father, let us not forget not your benefits, Father. Let us not hide our faces from you. The enemy shall not prevail against us. No plague shall come near our tents nor our dwellings, O oh God. Father God, I ask right now, as your holy vessel, to put a covering over your children, Father, to heal the sick, to heal those who minds are not on you, Lord. You are the true and living God. Let us stand firm in righteousness. You are the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who was and is to come. Father God, may you have mercy on us. Forgive us, Father, for they know not what they do. In Jesus' mighty name, you died on that cross that we may live. And the just shall live by faith. Attend to our cries, O Lord. Give ear to our prayers, O God. Cover us, Father. May you visit us in our sorrows. Let us be gracious to you. Concerning the works of men. May we not let no perverse thing, Father, come from our lips. You have called us to order our steps down the righteous path. May you hold us, Father. Lift us up. You say, if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all men unto me. Yes, Father. Let our eyes not be in contempt. Let us not speak any vile thing. Let our minds be mirrored towards you. You are the righteous God. You are the Lamb. Father God, may you just embrace us and let us exalt you now and forevermore. We know that these are times that's end times, Lord. We know that things are falling away from you, Father. But may we lift you up, Father, and you have mercy and grace upon us, O oh God. Let our minds be on you, O oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. Let us not be a stiff-necked people, Father, but let us glorify the Father and the Son. 
Father God, we just want to thank you for living inside our hearts, our spirits, our minds, our bodies, and our souls. Father God, let us lift you up daily, each and every day, Lord, each and every day, each and every night, each and every minute, second and hour. We need thee, Lord. We need thee. We need you over our homes. We need you over our minds. We need you on our jobs. We need you all walks of life. We need you on the highways and byways. Father God, we ask that you bless us coming in and bless us coming out. Father God, the blessings of Abraham, may they be on our lives. I declare and I decree healing in our hearts, Lord, as I speak. I declare healing in those loved ones who are falling from you, Father. I declare healing that we stay in our right minds, O oh Lord. I declare healing and decree that we are the children of God and we believe on you and our faith is not wavering, Father. Father, you are the healer. Attend to our cries and our prayer, O oh God. Father God, may our footsteps be mirrored in you. You brought us from the miry clay, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, you are died that we may live. You keep us from our enemies. May we exalt you in the highest. You are our high tower. We lift your name on high. We praise you with our whole hearts. You are marvelous in your works, O oh God. Let us be glad and rejoice in the praises of the God most high. When our enemies are turned back, they shall fall and perish at thy presence, O God, and declare and decree in Jesus' mighty name. For thou hast maintained my right and my cause. Thou settest in the throne judgment right. You set, Lord. Thou hast rebuked the heathen. Thou hast destroyed the wicked. Thou hast put out thy name forever and ever. O thy enemy destructions are come to a perpetual end, and thou hast destroyed cities. Their memorial is perished with men, but the Lord shall endure forever. Father God, you are our righteous judge, Father. The Lord will also be our refuge. You are our refuge for the oppressed, our refuge in times of trouble, Father. Let us just seek you always, Father. Let us uplift your name on high. Let us sing praises to the Lord, which dwelleth in Zion, declare among the people his doings. When he maketh inquisitions for blood, he remembereth them. He forgetteth not the cry of the humble. Have mercy upon us, O Lord. Consider my trouble which I suffer of them that hate me, Father. That thou liftest me up from the gates of death. That I may show forth all thy praise in the gates of the daughters of Zion. I rejoice in thy salvation. O God, may you heal us, Father. May you heal us, Father. May you heal us, Father. May you mold us into your likeness, O God. Father God. The enemy shall not prevail over our lives, over our hearts, over our minds, and over our families. Father God, we thank you, Lord. You humble our hearts. May you humble our hearts. May our hearts be filled with the fullness and richness of your love. May we be overflowing. And may we love even our enemies that persecute us, Father. Father God, we thank you, Father. We receive our rewards when we diligently seek you, Lord. Lord Jesus, let us not believe in falsehood or wickedness or follow the wicked. Because the wicked shall perish. And let us not be foolish, but of wisdom, O oh God. Let us give ear to your words and consider our meditation. Let our hearts be on fire for you. Let our minds not be consumed with the things of this world or the things of our enemies, O oh God. Let us not be greatly troubled or ashamed, O oh God, or sore vexed from our enemies, O oh God. Destroy them, O oh God. Let them fall by their own counsels. Cast them out into the multitude of their transgressions, for they have rebelled against thee, Father. But let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let us rejoice in you, Father, because you defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. O oh, Father, we rejoice in your name. We are blessed. How blessed is your name. Enlarge our territories, O oh God. Have mercy on us, Father. Relieve us from our enemies, that we may not be shamed in vain glory in Jesus' mighty name. Father God, we thank you and we reverence you. All the days of our lives. We will rejoice because Jesus Christ is Lord. 
You are the Savior and you are the healer. May you bless us coming in and bless us going out, Father. For your mercy endure forever. Father God, you are our high tower. We lift your name on high now and forevermore, Lord. Cover each and every viewer, Father. Remove anything that's not of you, O oh Father. Any dark, vile thing. Any bloodthirsty thing. Any falsehood thing. May it be gone from our presence, O oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I ask that you cover ministries, O oh God. May you cover ministries, O oh God. And the wicked shall perish in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Lord, we bless your name on high. Thank you, Father. We bless your name. You make our enemies bless us, O oh God. We rebuke anger from us, O oh God, displeasure. O oh Father, let our souls rejoice in you. Father God, you are the righteous judge. Let us seek you according to your will and according to your way to walk upright in our hearts and our minds and not be angry with the wicked because you are the just judge, Father of the wicked. Let us be wheat and not tares, O God, in Jesus' mighty name. Let us be sheep and not goats in the name of the Father, the name of the Son. Father God, we thank you for who you are, the great I am, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We praise your name forevermore, Father. May these prayers not return void. We thank you for answered prayers. We thank you for forgiveness. We thank you for love. We thank you for, for correction, Father. Even correction, Lord. We receive correction in your name, in Jesus' mighty name. Lead us from temptation and deliver us from evil, O God. You make thy way straight before my face, O God. For there is no faithfulness in thy mouth, the inward parts in thy very wickedness. O Father, there is no wickedness in us, O God. May you remove it in Jesus' mighty name. We trust you and we rejoice in the name of the Father and the name of the Son. In Jesus' mighty name, let the, just like a tree, be, let us be planted and rooted. Just like a tree by the rivers of water that bring forth its fruit in the season, let us be first fruits, Father. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Whatever we do in you, Lord, shall prosper, Father God. Let us not be ungodly like the chaff, O God. Because we know that the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous, Father. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Father God, let us not be like the heathen and the ungodly, Father. Let you anoint us with the wine, the corn, and the oil, O oh God. Let us break their bands asunder and cast away the cords from us. In Jesus' mighty name, he that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure, their distress. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare it and decree the Lord have said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. And ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thy inheritance, the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thank you, Father, we thank you. You are the potter's vessel. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron, thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. You dash out enemies in pieces like a potter's vessel, Father. And may we not perish, but live forever in song and praise, rejoicing in New Jerusalem with you. Names written in the Lamb's Book of Life, O oh God. Father God, we ask that you have mercy on our souls, our spirits, that you deliver us from evil. And we thank you, Father. Lord Jesus, we pray that all will come to know you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray that our family members who are lost will come to know you, Father. In Jesus' name, may their hearts be circumcised towards you, Father. May they not be stiff-necked. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you, Father. All praises be to the King of kings, Lord of heaven and earth. We thank you and we praise you, mighty name. Father God, may others be blessed each and every day and be healed through your name. In Jesus' name. Okay, everybody, may God cover you with his blood. May the lamb's blood be on your doorpost, protect you, okay, in Jesus' name. So, everyone, this is Lisa. I pray that you all get wisdom, knowledge, and revelation and seek God's face continually, everyone. He is worthy to be praised. And each and every day, pray. Pray to God for healing. 
okay, forgiveness. And anything, just submit to God and everything you do, submit to God. Your whole mind, your whole life for healing you all. He is the deliverer, okay, he is a provider. Be attentive to his word, everybody, and walk in his mercy and his grace, okay? All right, you all, the just shall live by faith. Remember that, all right? So um, I must go now, everyone, and just keep praying. Don't never stop praying, but God is worthy to be praised and worthy to be healed, okay, you all? Okay, I'll see you next time with another video. Bye-bye, you all. Love you all to the moon and back.